Been to the grocery store lately, you may have seen some restrictions on meat. Closures and illnesses at meat processing plants are putting stress on the nation's food supply. 8 News Now reporter Kate Houston shows us what this means for butcher shops across town. While the shelves are stocked here at Larry's Great Western Meats on Valley View in Alta, they are experiencing a 50 to 60 percent shortage on the items that they're ordering. Eli Corey, the president of Great Western Meats, told me they have distributors for beef, chicken, and pork. One of the processing companies, JBS, made headlines last month after it had to close some locations due to workers testing positive for COVID-19. We're getting 50% of what we're ordering right now, but we're lucky my uh, our distributor is not shut down, at least the plan that we're ordering from. Uh, but other, other vendors, yeah, they're not able to sell us anything. I also reached out to the butcher block. They're having some problems getting certain meats, specifically brisket and hanger steak. The store is stocked up on popular items such as chicken, chuck roast and ground beef, but it doesn't know how long it will last if these restrictions keep going. While both stores are having some supply challenges, they tell me they're also seeing an increase in demand from customers. Any kind of proteins, meat, chickens, beef, whatever, they can get their hand on. I reached out to grocery stores such as Walmart, Costco, Smith's and Albertsons on how their meat supply is being impacted. Walmart says it's working through its supply chain to replenish items. Costco was temporarily putting a three item limit on fresh beef and poultry. Costco was temporarily putting a three item limit on fresh beef, pork and poultry. Smith says there is plenty of protein in the supply chain, but some processors are experiencing challenges. They've put limits on fresh pork and chicken. Albertsons could not provide any information. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. In an effort to keep meat processing plants open, President Trump signed an executive order last week designating them as critical infrastructure. This protects the facilities from being shut down by state regulators. Denise.